I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. It's supposed to rain today. I wish I had my camera going just two seconds ago because as I walked out here, I stepped in that, which is from the dogs. And you see how it's smeared? I didn't see it. And I went for a total header and fell flat on my back. So, when I wasn't limping today, hardly at all, I imagine I'm going to be limping all day today. You expect it from ice and all that stuff, but not from dog. Anyway, let's get started. Hi, Scotty. There we go. Hi, boys. Hi. Hi. Oh, my goodness. You're so nice. You're so nice. Yeah, you are. Oh, you're a good boy. They're having their salt mineral. Um, I want to show you. We talked a little while ago about sheep that get bad habits. And once they have it, it goes on and on. Well, if you saw the video with Andrew from Alberta yesterday. If not, check it out. It's City Country meets Utopia Farms or something like that. But we saw one of Gladiator's U's with a green dot in Knockout's group. Well, last night when Arnie was doing chores, she was like this in the feeder and while Arnie was doing chores she hopped back into gladiators group so that got sorted but here it is in the morning and here she is again the good thing is it's always the same one but she's this is her habit now so we're going to mark her number down because her lambs technically could be from Knockout or Gladiator. So if she happened to have a keeper lamb, we would have to check her for both sires to see who the daddy was. Is it you? So because she's in there, I'm just, I'm going to leave there salt and minerals and stuff until we feed them and maybe we can lure but lure her to jump back into gladiators group but it's funny because when we were sorting sheep there was one that hopped into the feeder and it had to have been the same one hi knockout is that girl hopping from pen to pen she's a floozy Stay away from that girl. She's a bad influence. Yeah, you don't want to be involved with that floozy. So these guys, you can see, they're all up front looking at me because one, they don't have their grain yet. Two, their hay feeder is empty. So Arnie has the fan off in this barn because he had to move it out of the way to put the hay in. And even though the temperatures have cooled a bit, it's amazing how muggy it gets in the barn without it. You guys, I hope you're not fighting. Cracker, don't be fighting. Hi. Don't be fighting, you guys. Good weather is supposed to make you feel better, not competitive. They're fighting. The last thing we need is Cracker to get injured. So these guys are gonna get fed now. Arnie's gonna pull that little piece of mold off where somebody climbed the bales. But it is lucky it isn't going all the way through because the hay is pretty nice this year. It's coming, you guys. Take it easy. It's 
So somebody suggested from yesterday's video that maybe we let the sheep run through that field and graze off that barley once the alfalfa has died down. But um, unfortunately we aren't the, in a position to do that um, because it's not like right behind the barns here. It's down the road and we would have to get the sheep there down the road through past people's houses who have no fences and without having those good working border collies they have in the UK and New Zealand. Um, our dogs are good for moving sheep, but uh, they wouldn't keep them out of everybody's yards. And then we, and then it would be a good video for sure. <laughs> and then we have no electric fence way out there. So unfortunately it just wouldn't work. So we're basically probably just gonna let everything, everything die down. We would do it in a second if it was the field behind here. Cause I wouldn't, even without a fence, I wouldn't mind just letting them out, letting them graze and then bringing them back. I'd just set out a chair and stay there for a while so that they didn't actually gorge on the grain. But unfortunately, it's totally not practical for how we're situated. But thanks for the idea. your drinker girls oh pretty good just a scoop sometimes I just need to scoop it out other times it's more of a clean and this is Hamish's group and this is Hamish right back here next to a really nice you you're very pretty. These guys are starting to look better and better each day. The ones that had the worms, the three, they looked way better. And looking through here, hi. Oh, <laughs> you're, he's such a baby. I'm looking at him through the window. This is knockout. He always jumps up to see me. Hi, buddy. I didn't think you'd do it here, too. You are a sweetheart. My goodness. Let's go see you on the other side, okay? Here's my buddy. This is his newest habit. Knockout, knockout. Knockout likes to climb on the gate here and say hello. Hi, buddy. You are a sweetheart. How did you get to be like this? All the rams are so needy. Yes, they're needy. Yeah, they're needy. You're good at kisses, too. He's such a sweetheart. But he climbs up to see me every day. Oh, buddy. The assumption was that the ewe in here was jumping out and getting into the feeder. She's not there now. We'll have a look to see which pen she's in. But what is she doing? She crawled right through this hole. She took one bar out and she crawled right through there. So remember, we adjusted the feeders. Well, in Gladiator's group, because there were no lambs, we just took up out every other bar so that he wouldn't get his head stuck. But that one you figured out that she can actually crawl in. Did she crawl in easily? No, she had a hard time getting the rear end through. That's a, that's a good sign. Yeah, so, but she did it. But she had to have jumped over when she was in knockout side because knockout side has all the bars. So, obviously she's an escape artist. I'm gonna just check. She was in here, the feeder earlier, but now we gotta see 
where she jumped into. That's why we put marks on their backs. Because then it's obvious which pen they belong in. Actually, this looks like her, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks like her. Let's see if she's in here. Oh, there she is. Oh, little bugger. She's a floozy. She's hopping between men. So, yeah, and she's a first timer by the look of the tag, a white tag. So, yeah, we don't really care. She, she can be with, with whatever ram she wants. Her number will be marked down. We only keep so many keepers and register so many sheep anyway. If it so happens she, that she has a phenomenal lamb, then uh, that lamb will be tested to see who the sire is. So it's not a huge deal. It would be a huge deal if like the gate broke down and they all intermixed, but just one, we will uh, catch her and put a really big marking on her so she's very obvious who that's she a, is. That's a brand new ram, so it's not going to be knowing the breed. It's just that we might not know. Oh yeah, yeah, there, yeah, there'd be no inbreeding. Like if, if Knockout was one of our own rams, yeah, Arnie's right, that could have been another issue too, because I mean, it could have been her son, you know, <laughs> or brother or whatever, but we know for a fact that she's not related to Knockout. And we know for a fact she's not related to Gladiator or she wouldn't have been in Gladiator's group. So it's not a real inbreeding issue. It would just be if you had to register, you wouldn't know the sire. But if it was just a commercial lamb, even for someone buying a, uh, a ewe unregistered, it wouldn't matter really who the sire was. As long as it's two healthy lambs. So Gladiator is on this side checking out his ewes going down the line and Knockout was at the front but he's making his way down the line as well checking out ewes on his side. There's always something. You think every day is exactly the same, but there's always some little piece of drama usually happening in the barns. Do you want to go knock down their salt mineral? He's going to do the salt mineral on this side because knockouts loving me just a little too much lately. So this morning a lot of weird things have been happening so Arnie must have left the gate open by mistake last night and all the ewes got out and he hi Leonard, Leonard slow down so Arnie usually leaves some grain out there for the next morning so they would have eaten all that grain yeah lots of empty buckets there So they'll be happy. Lucky it wasn't a whole grain bin, but still. Leonard, were you were you an escapee last night? Not Leonard. Linus. My goodness, I'm always forgetting your names. All done, sweetheart. Come on. Okay, you're done. You're done. And here comes the other monster. Buddy, I thought you were sleeping on the sofa. Hi, Leonard, you didn't see me, did you? Hi. Good morning, buddy. You're such a good boy. Are you still at it, buddy? Have you not figured out that nobody likes that? Silly ram. Come on. Leonard can't keep his eyes off me. He doesn't know what's more important, eating that creep feed or coming over for some hugs. Oh, I guess hugs are winning out. Oh, maybe not. Oh, you couldn't stand it. You couldn't stand it. Yes. 
You're such a lover boy. Yeah, the food's always there, isn't it? That's how they get in their spot. They don't have to do it that way. They could just line up at the end where there's empty space. But what they'll do is they'll jump on the sheep that are already in there, hoping that somebody will give way. But usually once they have their spot, they stay put. We haven't seen Looney for a while and I just noticed her. You can see how much she's faded. You have to look really closely to see her little brown markings on her legs and a little on her face. Hi Looney. Hi, but you're still a sweetheart. Yeah, you are. You are so pretty. Now, Looney is an example of a lamb that was never a bottle baby, who was just naturally a little cuddle bug. Hi, who are you? Is Looney getting some attention? Does it look like something maybe you'd like to? Ah, <laughs> oh, Looney. You're such a pretty girl. It was funny when Andrew was over here yesterday um, except for Leonard, I think everybody was just terrified and that's really, really unusual. As you've seen from other customers coming over, usually our sheep will swarm whoever's here. Maybe uh, um, initially they'll be a little nervous, but once I get people to like stand still in the pen or sit down, usually they'll all start to come over and investigate and become their regular friendly selves. There she is. You're such a cuddle bug. Yeah. You're a perfect little angel. You are. Oh, was that a fly? Fly season's coming. Sheep don't like flies. Do they? And neither do humans. They're nasty things. Is that you? That's you. You're very pretty. Ah. I don't know if you can see the color still. See on her little cheeks? Quite faded, but it's still there. Still there, isn't it, honey? Eh? And how's your teeth? Your teeth look wonderful. Perfect little teeth. Yeah. I just noticed her farm tag number. It's 625. And Diva, her farm tag number is 525. So that's really easy to remember those two. Who are you? Are you wondering what Looney's doing? And who are you? 
And you? This is all very interesting, isn't it? Are you guys Dorsets? Are you a little suspicious? Some pretty girls. You don't mind being stuck with extra sheep when they look like this. And who are you? What are the Dorsets doing? Some new ones coming over who are really close. Hi, who are you? Oh my goodness, we know who you are. Here's Hot Lips, and excuse me, you're just a little too pushy. A little too pushy. Hi, Hot Lips, you're a little too close too. I can't, we're gonna push you back a little. There we go, not too far. There we go, there. Jenny, you've been staying here the whole time with all these pushy sheep. You're not pushy at all, you just stand here quietly. Yeah, you do. You wonder how a sheep that was, you know, not a bottle baby and not overly handled, just extremely cute, became this friendly. Because actually Toonie, her mom, is not really friendly. She's pretty, but she's not friendly. But I remember when Looney was born, even in the jug when we went to Tagger at day two, she came over to us and was friendly. So there's gotta be a genetic component. Who are you? Oh my goodness, you're on a mission. Some of them just walk over to you like they, hi, you're 535. Now, Diva is 525. I'm seeing a pattern in these numbers. No, that's my, I don't know who you are, but you can't eat my necklace. That's the necklace I got when I was in Scotland. It's my Celtic cross. My favorite piece of jewelry. Hi, who are you? Honey, not the cross, okay? Who are you? I don't even know who you are and I can see that you're friendly. Now someone else has come over. Who are you? Okay, so I made a mistake. Diva, this is Diva. She's 535, not 525. There, that explains the neediness. Now we know who you are. You do want to be the center of attention. Here comes someone else on a mission. Who are you? Is today the day of the Dorsets? You're not a Dorset. Here's one of the Dorset girls. If we were showing, she's a show sheep because you can see she's got more leg on her. She's more of the type that would do well at a, a sheep show. And you look very showy too. This 
This morning we have a pile up at the woolly lamb drinker because somebody pooped in it. So now there's a line up for the water tank. Why would you guys do that? If anyone's going to have a dirty water drinker, it's you guys. When Arnie was out doing hay the other day, he found a coyote family. There was a mom and a dad and two babies. That's a baby right there. He thinks this one's a baby. And we don't have any problems with coyotes. Like we don't want to come out and kill them. A lot of people see them and they, their first instinct is to come kill them. We have to live with nature. They were here first. So we raise our sheep so that they're not at risk from coyotes. And the reason that this coyote is here is because, whoops, stop. Yeah, I, there he is. So he's here because Arnie was cutting hay and there'll be a little, a bunch of little carcasses in here of dead mice and stuff. That's what they he hold. ran back to the ditch there, but I don't think, I think we've lost him now. But he's looking for mice, rabbits, rats, things like that. So before the rain starts, we're just picking up some of our tomatoes. I'm making some nice tomato sauce, which is really nice and sweet, isn't it? Good tomatoes? Are they tasty? No, it's a tomato head. Are they tasty? Yeah, they are. Oh, there's nobody home. Arnie. Anyway, the wind's picking up. That means the rain's on its way. For the grassy. We're going to call that a day. Yeah, we're happy that it is going to rain because it's a really good start for that grass seed we put on yesterday. So until tomorrow, bye for now.